To better use Hero Ghost, you first need to understand that all invisibility will remove in this game unless you have this upgrade. Or some of the unit have their own ability. And let's look at Ghost Hero ability. There are two parts. First, cloaking. Uh, it will give all units cloak without taking one upgrade slot. This allows you to have first mover advantage, your mines, banelings, can connect with enemy instead of getting gunned down in the distance. Secondly, EMP. It removes your and your opponent's upgrade at once. You might ask, would it make a situation worse? Let me show you. In this game at round 3, uh, this time we don't rush to tier 4. I took Hydralisk and then sell it so we get a cocoon. Buy a primal Hydralisk for growth and lock the dragoons, as that is an important part of our build. Skip forward a bit after you have a board, level up to tier 5. And here we go, we got a triple. So I have no Zerg card to really max out the Leviathan's value. And the same logic with Protoss, so I choose Death Fleet. We already have Primal Zerg, maybe we will have the Haka later, which goes well with Death Fleet to farm Darkness. During majority of this game, I use Cloak ability to have as much first mover advantage as possible while leveling up. So I scout it and find out that PF is very strong, so he probably going to make it into the finale. And here we go, this is what I've been waiting for, Uran. It will convert all Dragoons into this powerful Phoenix. We also find the Haka for one extra card per round, and we start a sacrifice to summon a stronger Death Fleet. You see, hero like PF rely on those upgrades to make his build tanky and produce tempers faster to outrun other players. In the finale, I use my EMP, removing all upgrades to even the playing field. I also find Malash to give me Void Shade, which is not affected by EMP. If my army's quality is higher, I can beat him. And most of my army is made of units like Uran. Uh, Taldorine Flyers and the Haka Spawns. And all of those leftover Primal Hydralisk are there to occupy those big Protoss turrets so rest of my army can do as much damage as possible. Without those Chrono Boost upgrades, those Stargate produce Tempest much much slower than they used to. And you can see there's a reason why this PF made it to the finale. He took Raynor. Raynor have the aura effect to give attack speed bonus and also regenerate health, which is not affected by EMP and Malash as well. Even if he had Kerrigan without upgrade, she's just a tankier caster. Both approach of playing Ghost are viable. It depends on what kind of enemy you must deal with. Cloaking gives you first mover advantage. The EMP, even the playing field. You need to have higher quality units plus EMP to deal with opponent like PF. And if you fight against bio-based build like SCV playing Marine Raynor, the cloaking banelings might, might work better. In the early game, use cloak, and in the late game, choose accordingly. That's the main idea of Ghost.